Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High, Christ Bless. My name is Captain Mattathias. And I'm Officer Losai. All right, and we're back with another 15 minutes with the captains. Today's topic, all right, today's topic is titled, When Christ Comes Back. All right, when Christ comes back. Let's get right into it, Matthew 16 and 1. The book of Matthew, chapter 16 and verse 1. Come on. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. All right, so the Pharisees came to tempt Christ. Watch what he says. He answered and said unto them, mm -hmm. when it is evening, ye say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. So Christ is saying, all right, I, I see what you're doing. I see how you're approaching me. So let me, let me put it back on you. So when you look at the sky, you could tell what time of day it is, and you could tell uh, what type of weather it's going to be by what you see in the sky. Right. Right? And in the morning, it will be foul weather today. For the sky is red and lowering. And lowering, meaning when you see the clouds get low, that means what? It's probably going to be a rainy day. Read. Oh, ye hypocrites. Oh, ye what? Hypocrites. Come on. Ye can discern the face of the sky, mm -hmm. but can ye not discern the signs of times? Meaning what? You should be able to see what times we're living in. And that goes to you Christian pastors out there. Okay, you mean to tell me you can tell what type of weather it's going to be, but you can't realize that we're living in the last days? Okay, from there. Give me the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 10. The book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 10. Come on. Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation. All right, so this is going into what, uh, what's going to occur in the last days. Read it again. Then, he, then said he unto them, mm -hmm. nation shall rise against nation. Come on. And kingdom against kingdom. And kingdom against kingdom. Read. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. All right. And that's what we see uh, happening on the earth today. Okay. You see nation rising against nation. Uh, uh, you see earthquakes in diverse places. Read on. And famines. And what? And famines. And famines. Come on. And pestilences. And what? Pestilences. That's going into what? The COVID-19 outbreak. Right. Okay. Many grocery stores are now rationing meat, rationing water because of a famine uh, that is on the brink of approaching read mm. and fearful sights and fearful sights what is that fearful sights going into uh now the fbi um is now unleashing actual evidence that there is ufos mm. all right now they can no longer undermine the fact that the cherry to the most high are actually in the skies they actually have to come out and admit the truth Read that part again. And fearful sights. Come on. And great signs shall there be from heaven. And great signs shall there be from heaven. From there, let's go to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. All right, so today's topic is when Christ comes back. Read what you got. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. So for those uh, who are in this truth, we should be able to what? Realize what signs and times we're in because we keep God's commandments. And most importantly, we study these scriptures. Read. Verse 2. Uh -huh. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. We understand that. So we must always make sure that we're ready. Read. For when they shall say peace and safety. When they shall say peace and safety. When they shall say, hey, everything's okay. The outbreak is contained. Uh, don't worry. Um, Iran is... They're going to be uh, taken care of China. We ain't worried about China. We're not worried about Russia. So on and so on. Read. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. It says suddenly destruction will come upon them. Read. As travail upon a woman with child. Mm -hmm. And they shall not escape. And they shall not escape. Read. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. Mm -hmm. That that day should overtake you as a thief. Meaning what? A thief is not going to come knock on your front door and tell you when he's going to rob you. Okay, read verse 4 again. Verse 4. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. Meaning what? Not in sin. That's what the darkness represents right there. And uh, not caught up in the, the philosophies uh, of America, the beast, that great whore. Read. That day should overtake you as a thief. All right, so that shouldn't overtake those who keep God's commandments. We should know exactly what times we live in again. Right. Read on. Ye are all the children of the light mm -hmm. and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Come on. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Let us not uh, want to go into ignorance. Like it says in what? Wisdom of Solomon 14 and uh, 22. It says, let us not be sleep. Read. As do others. Uh -huh. But let us watch and be sober. It says, let us watch and be sober. Let's go to the book of Acts chapter, uh, chapter 1. 
in verse 9. Watch this. It says, let us watch and be sober. Read what you got. The book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 9. Come on. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up. Who's the he? This is Jesus the Christ. Right. All right. After he uh, rose from the dead, he ascended up into heaven. Okay. Read that again. And when he has spoken these things mm -hmm. while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received him. And a cloud. That cloud is going into a chariot. Mm. That, those UFOs, those fearful sights that the heathen is now seeing. Actually, give me that in Zechariah 5 real quick. Let's do it real quick. I wasn't planning to go here. The book of Zechariah, chapter 5 and verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked. And behold, a flying roll. A what? A flying roll. Come on. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, mm -hmm. and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Read. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Right, there it is. That's the curse that goeth forth of, over the face of the whole earth. That's why it's a fearful sight, because they understand what's going to take place. Give me Psalms 104 and 3 so we can get the understanding of what a cloud is. Okay, so you don't think that he's actually just floating on the clouds. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 104 and verse 3. Mm -hmm. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Mm -hmm. Who maketh the clouds his chariot? His clouds, his chariots, all right? That is his means of transportation, the chariots, also known as UFOs. So let's go back to Acts 1 and 9, all right? Watch this. The book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 9. Come on. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. He was taken up, meaning he ascended. He, he was ascending up into heaven and being caught up in a chariot. Read. And a cloud received him. A chariot received him. Read. Out of their sight. Mm -hmm. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, mm -hmm. as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Those two men is two angels. Read. Which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Watch this. This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen. You see that? It says the same way Christ ascended into heaven, that's the same way he's going to return. All right? So let's get into it. Give me Matthew chapter 24 and 27. All right? When Christ comes back. Now we're about to get into the class. Matthew 24 and verse 27. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 27. Come on. For as the lightning cometh. Out of the east. So it says, as the lightning comes from the east, come on. And shineth even unto the west. Come on. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The exact way the lightning uh, comes from the east, that's how the, uh, the Son of Man, Jesus the Christ, is going to come back. All right? Everybody's going to see him at this time. Give me Isaiah the 60th chapter and start at the first verse. The book of Isaiah, chapter 60, in verse 1. Come on. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. You see that? It says, arise, shine. What is that shining? That's going into Jesus the Christ. Read. And the glory of the Lord is rising upon thee. It says, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. Come on. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Uh-huh. And gross darkness the people. Read. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and, the, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. You see that? It's going into the most so high, sending the Son, Jesus the Christ, to be that light in this wicked world. Because when you read, what, Deuteronomy, when you read Ezra, as we continue to live, this place is going to get more wicked and more wicked. And he's going to be that light to shine in this wicked place. Give me the book of Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. Watch this. The book of Malachi chapter 4 and verse 2. Come on. But unto you that fear my name. Shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings? You see that the son of righteousness is spelled S-U-N. That's going into that brightness, that lightning, that shining. It's talking about Jesus the Christ. Read it again. But unto you that fear my name. Come on. Shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings? Healing in his wings. Going into that Psalms 91. All right, he's going to be our, prote our protection, our shield, and our buckler. Okay? Let's go back to uh, Matthew 24. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 27. Come on. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Mm -hmm. For wheresoever the car car carcass. the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Come on. Immediately after the tribulation. So of immediately after our tribulation here in this earth, read. Of those days shall the sun be darkened. Come on. 
And the moon shall not give her light. Mm -hmm. And the stars shall fall from heaven. Those stars going into their satellites falling from heaven. Come on. And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Read. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man. The Son of Man. Read. In heaven. Come on. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. They all going to mourn because they're going to realize what they've done. Remember. Remember. It says in Luke, a fearful sight. They're scared right now. But think about that day. That's when they're really going to be scared. They're going to see the black man coming from the sky with, it, with the host of heaven coming in the chariots. But they know this time is for, it's for, it's for destruction. Right. Final destination. It's over. Okay. Uh, give me the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Watch this. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 7. The book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. Come on. Behold, he cometh with clouds. You see that he cometh with chariots. Come on. And every eye shall... And it says what? And every eye shall see him. So he's going to come from the east, but how, does, how, how could that even be? If we all the way here in the western world, don't, don't forget that this place will be destroyed, Babylon the Great, by nukes. But everybody is going to be able to see Christ. No matter what position you are on the earth, everybody going to be able to see him. Y'all got to realize how amazing that is. I don't think people understand that. Read it again. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Every eye is going to see Christ and the angels. Read. And they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail. And that's going into you wicked Israelites out there. Those same spirits are back on the earth today. Mm -hmm. Those who pierced him. Yeah, the Romans did it. But who gave Christ up to the Romans? You wicked Israelites out there. Those who do not accept Christ. Read. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of you see him. that they shall wail because of him. They're going to be wailing because they know all of these years they've been persecuting and treating the children of God horribly. But right. now they got to answer for that thing. OK, let's drop that. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 47 and verse three. So when he come back, he's not coming back the way he was when he walked the earth. All right. We're going to we're going to find out how Christ is going to be rolling when he come back on the earth. Read this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 47 and verse 3. Come on. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. This is going into uh, Babylon, the great whore. All of, everything they've done is going to be exposed. Read. Yea, they, thy shame shall be seen. Thy shame shall be seen. Read. I will take vengeance. Uh-huh. And I will not meet thee as a man. So when Christ comes back on the earth, right, and he's taking vengeance on the earth, he's not coming back in his carnal form, okay? That's, that's done with. All right, when Christ comes back, he's coming in his glorified state to wreak havoc on the nations, okay? From there, let's go to the book of 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 2. All right, read verse 8. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. Come on. And then shall the wicked be revealed. It says, at this time, the wicked is going to be revealed. Come on. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. You see that? When Christ comes back, he's going to consume that wicked with the spirit of his mouth. What do you mean? Just going to talk and people are going to fall out? Read on, read on. Finish that out. With the spirit of his mouth. Come on. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And shall do what? And de shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Give me the book of 2 Ezra chapter 13. Okay. 2 Ezra chapter 13. So now we're going to get a, a more understanding of what it means by to, uh, destroying these nations uh, just by opening his mouth. Watch this. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 13 and verse 1. Come on. And it came to pass, after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. Mm -hmm. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. All right, so that's going into the heavens. When it says that sea that's going into the waters, in the heavens, okay? So it said he's going to uh, uh, descend from the heavens with his host, meaning his, the angels, uh, just like we read. Read. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. You see that thing? As soon as he opened up his mouth, Dang. they burnt who heard his voice. Read on. Is that it on that? No, there's more. Come on. Like as the earth filleth when it fleet, filleth the fire. Mm-hmm. That was it. Verse, uh, jump down to verse 8. Verse 8. Come on. And after this I beheld, 
and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him. So all the nations going to come together to try to uh, subdue Christ and the angels, read. Were sore afraid mm -hmm. and yet durst fight. They fought anyway. All right. Remember, they're going to wail when they see Christ. They ain't going to want to fight against Christ, but their rebelliousness, they're not going to want to repent. Okay. So they're going to try to fight Christ knowing they're going to lose, read. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. Mm -hmm. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth. Out of his what? Out of his mouth. Come on. As it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. You see that thing right there? Tempest, that's going into hurricanes, tornadoes. That's going into all types of... You've seen uh, X-Men, Storm, okay? You see mm -hmm. all of these different uh, superheroes. No, no, no. This is the ultimate superhero right here. He has all of the powers in his hands. Right. Speaking of his hands, go to Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 4. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 4. Come on. And his brightness was at the light. He had horns coming out of his hands. He said he had horns coming out of his hands. Okay, so he had weapons coming out of his hands. Come on. And there was the hiding of his power. Now, we're going to go right back to uh, 2 Ezra 13, and we're going to get the understanding of the vision that Ezra saw. Okay, uh, jump, uh, jump down to verse 25. Second Ezra chapter 13 and verse 25. Come on. This is the manner of the vision. So now here's the understanding of what he saw. Come on. Whereas thou sawest a man coming up from the midst of the sea. Mm -hmm. The same is he whom God the highest hath kept a great season. Right. Mm -hmm. He's been he, because what Christ is, he sits at the right hand of the father and he has not told him the time yet. He's been keeping him there. But it says now it's time to unleash Christ. Read. Which by his own self shall deliver his creature. You see that? By his own self shall deliver his creature. Shall deliver his creature. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter uh, 43 and 15. What does that mean, deliver his creature? Is he talking about elephants? Is he talking about coyotes? All right. Give me that. Read that. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 15. Come on. I am the Lord. Your holy, holy one, mm -hmm. the creator of Israel. The what? The creator of Israel. Right. So it said in our second Ezra that he would deliver his creature, right? A creature has to have a what? A creator. Read it again. I am the Lord, your holy one, mm -hmm. the creator of Israel, your king. Your king. Meaning what? He's the creator of Israel. So Israel would have to be his what? His creation. But just in case you don't uh, believe that, give me second Ezra chapter 8 and verse 45. Watch this. Watch this. Second Ezra chapter 8 and verse 45. Come on. Be not wroth with us. With us. Who's the us? Read. But spare thy people. Thy what? Thy people. Give me Exodus chapter 3 verse 10. Who is thy people? Who are the people of God? All right. Read this. The book of Exodus chapter 3 and verse 10. Come on. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, mm -hmm. that thou mayest bring forth my people. Bring forth who? My people. Read. The children of Israel. The children of who? Of Israel. Remember, he's the creator of Israel. Right. So his people have to be who? Israel. Go back to 2 Ezra 8 and 45. The book of 2 Ezra chapter 8 and verse 45. Come on. Be not wroth with us. But spare thy people. Thy people who is Israel, read. And have mercy upon thy own inheritance. Uh-huh. For thou art merciful unto thy creature. Unto thy what? Unto thy creature. To thy creature. So the children of Israel are the creatures of God. Right. Give me 2nd Ezra 13 and 26 and we'll drop that. <clears throat> the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 13 and verse 26. Come on. The same is he whom God the highest hath kept a great season, mm -hmm. which by his own self shall deliver his creature. His creature. So Christ is coming back to do what? To deliver the children of Israel by the hands of their enemies. All right? Give me Revelation 19. All right? We almost done. We almost done. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 11. The book of Revelation chapter 19 and verse 11. Come on. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. All right. So once again, here's a vision of Christ coming from heaven. Read. His eyes were as a flame of fire mm -hmm. and on his head were many crowns. Come on. And he had a name written that no man knew, but he himself. Read. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Mm -hmm. And his name is called the word of God. And we're going to get to why his vesture was dipped in blood. Read. Verse 14. 
And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon the white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Come on. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. Out of his what? Out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. You see that in 2 Thessalonians 2? Mm. That's how he's going to consume these nations, by the, just by opening his mouth. Read. That with it. He shall smite the nations, mm -hmm. and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Come on. And he treadeth the winepress mm -hmm. of the fierceness and the wrath of Almighty God. That winepress is going into that bloodshed, okay? Uh, just drop that. Give me the book of um, Isaiah, all right? Isaiah chapter 26, verse 21. The book of Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 21. Come on. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. Read that again. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Right. Remember when we read in Second Ezra, it said this is this is the one that the Most High God was waiting to send. So now he's coming out of his place, out of sitting at the right hand of the Father to destroy the heathens. Read. The earth also shall disclose her blood uh -huh. and shall no more cover their, her slain. No more cover her slain. Okay. Because why? Uh, give me that Revelation 6. Give me Revelation chapter 6. And I think it's 10. All right. Read what you got. The book of Revelation chapter 6 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. And they cried with a loud voice saying, how long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them? That dwell on the earth. You see that? That's Those are the saints. That's the blood of the righteous. That's so, right. hey, when Christ come back, they are going to be avenged. Jump up to verse 19 back in Isaiah real quick. Touch that. Isaiah 26, 19. Isaiah chapter 26 in verse 19. Uh -huh. they, thy dead men shall live. You see that? Thy dead men shall live. Read. Together with my dead body uh -huh. shall they arise. Shall they arise. Remember, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Come on. Awake and sing. Uh -huh. Ye that dwell in the dust. Come on. For thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Shall cast out the dead. The dead in Christ shall rise. Drop that. Give me the book of... Uh, Psalms chapter 110 and verse 5. Watch this. Watch this. Going into what Christ is going to be doing when he comes back on this earth. Read that. The book of Psalms chapter 110 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. So when, that, when vengeance and that wrath comes, he's going to destroy the kings, your vice presidents, your presidents, your prime ministers, mm. all of them. They are going to get destroyed. Read. He shall judge among the heathen. Come on. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. You see that thing? He's going to fill the places with the dead bodies. Hey, how come this isn't being taught in the Christian church? I know when I was in Christian church, I never heard nothing like that. He said he's going to fill the places with the dead bodies of these heathens. Read. He shall wound the heads over many countries. Come on. That's it on that? All right, from there. Give me Revelations 14 and four, 14. Revelations 14 and verse 14. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 14. Come on. And I looked and behold a white cloud. Uh-huh. A white cloud that's going into that chariot. Come on. And upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man. Uh-huh. Having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle. A sharp sickle. Come on. And another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice mm -hmm. to him that sat on the cloud. Thrust in thy sickle and reap for the time is come. To for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. For the harvest of the earth is ripe. All right, so he's going to deliver the righteous, but he's going to what? Destroy uh, those who are wicked. When you read the book of Isaiah, when you read the book of Joel. All right, read on. Verse 16. Come on. And, he's, and he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle Come on. on the earth, and the earth was reaped. Read. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven. He also having a sharp sickle mm -hmm. and another angel came out of the altar, which had a power over fire Read. and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle saying, thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth mm -hmm. for her grapes are fully ripe. Read. And the angel thrust in her sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and it cast, excuse me, and cast it into the great wine press. And of the wrath of God. Watch this. Verse 20. Come on. 
and the winepress was trodden without the city, mm -hmm. and blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horse bridles, by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. You see that? That's going to be much bloodshed. Much bloodshed. Give me Isaiah 63 and 1. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 63 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Come on. This, that is glorious in his apparel. Traveling in the greatness of his strength, mm -hmm. that I speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Read. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Why is his apparel red? Because all of that bloodshed that he's going to be uh, committing against the other nations. Read. And thy garments, like him that treadeth in the wine fat. Read. I have trodden the wine press alone, mm -hmm. and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger. And trample them in my fury. Come on. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. Why? For the day of vengeance is in my heart. For the day of vengeance is in the heart of Christ. Come on. And the year of my redeemed is come. Who's the redeemed? The Israelites are God's redeemed. Okay. Now, remember we read about that whole host in Revelation 14. Give me the book of Habakkuk. Thou didst walk through the sea with thine horses. Through the heap of great waters. Read. When I heard, my belly trembled. My lips quivered at the voice. Rottenness entered into my bones. Mm -hmm. And I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. In the day of trouble. Because he sees what? He sees the bloodshed. He sees all of the destruction. He saw what Ezra saw. He saw Christ ascending. I'm sorry, descending from heaven with the host of heaven. Come on. When he cometh up unto the people... He will invade them. He will do what? He will invade them. Read. Them with his troops. With his what? With his troops. Give me that in um, 1 Kings chapter 22 verse 19. Okay. He said he's going to invade him with his troops. All right. Watch this. The book of 1 Kings chapter 22 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. and, he and he said, hear thou, therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. The Lord sitting on his throne. Come on. And all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. What is that talking about? That's talking about Christ and the angels. Okay. So when Christ comes back on the earth, he's going to invade this place with the angels. All right. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 31. Chapter 31 verse 4 and 5. We almost done. The book of Isaiah, chapter 31 and verse 4. Come on. For thus hath the Lord spoken unto me, mm -hmm. like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey, when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice, mm -hmm. nor obeys himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion. Right. That's what Christ is coming to do on the behalf of the Israelites. To right. fight our cause. That's why it says, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Read. And for the hill thereof. Watch this. As birds flying. It says, as birds flying. You know birds fly in V formation. Mm. So it says they're going to be invaded as birds flying. Read. So will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Read. Defending also he will deliver it. Uh, uh -huh. And passing over, he will preserve it. It's going to be a beautiful sight when the Messiah returns. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Uh, from there, drop that. Give me Isaiah 13 and 3. Isaiah chapter 13 and 3. The We're book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 3. Come on. I have commanded my sanctified ones. Mm -hmm. I have also called my mighty ones. His mighty ones are the angels. Read. For mine anger, Come on. even them that rejoice in my highness. So when the wrath is filled, when vengeance is set, it's going to be Christ and the angels that's going to invade this wicked place and wreck shop. All right. Let's close this thing out. A few more scriptures. Give me Isaiah 25 and uh, start at verse 8. The book of Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 8. Come on. He will swallow up death. In victory. You see that thing? Uh, Christ is going to swallow up death and victory. Read. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces. Mm -hmm. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth. You see that the rebuke of his people. No longer we're going to be called niggas and spicks. Now when people see this, they're going to put some respect on our name. Right. Read. Verse 9. Mm -hmm. And it shall be said in that day. Lo, this is our God. Watch this. We have waited for him. You see that? That's going to be a beautiful thing. This is our God. We have waited for our deliverer. Read. And he will save us. Come on. For this is the Lord. We have waited for him. 
We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18 verse 7. The book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18 and verse 7. Come on. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous. You see the salvation of the righteous. Read. And destruction of the enemies. And destruction of the enemies. And a lot of people don't understand. The wicked Israelites, you are an enemy of God as well. Okay. So we got to get our minds right, brothers and sisters. Last two. Give me Matthew 24 and 36. All right, so today's topic was when Christ comes back. Okay, read this. The book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 36. Mm -hmm. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. So we don't know the day and hour when the Messiah is going to return, but we do know the signs and the times. And brothers and sisters, we are living in the signs and the times right now. Give me the book of Matthew 26 and 41. And we'll close right here. The book of Matthew, chapter 26 and verse 41. Come on. Watch and pray. Do what? Watch and pray. Don't go back to sleep. Don't remain in that world of ignorance. Read. That ye enter not into temptation. Mm -hmm. The spirit indeed is willing. Come on. But the flesh is weak. All right, brothers and sisters, uh, we hope you stay in the spirit. And with that, we say shalom. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth